So welcome to day 12. I thought I'd do another cooking lesson today just to break it up a bit. I'm going to make a very easy dessert that um, I've never actually made before, but a friend of mine, um, I'll come down. A friend of mine actually made this and brought it to dinner one night when we were eating at a friend's place and I thought, oh, I can do that. So it's something nice, quick and easy, so we'll see how we go. So what I've got here is two packets of mango, oh, I'm actually making mango pudding I should say. Two packets of mango uh, jelly, a can of evaporated milk, some mango pieces, all diced up, and condensed milk. And that's basically it. So I will just quickly show you what I'm going to do. Um, empty these packets into your jug. Um, so this is a really good recipe to make when you've got some really uh, ripe mangoes that are probably way too ripe to eat. And you just want to get rid of them. And something nice, quick and easy. You're short on time, but the only thing is you do have to make it in advance because it is jelly. And you need to allow it time to set. So, two packets of the jelly crystals. Uh, one cup of boiling water. Just go in here. Just to dissolve the crystals. Just mix it to dissolve it. Smells good already. Love mango. I think it's one of my favourite fruits. Well, it is one of my favourite fruits. I definitely prefer um, tropical fruit, I think. I find it has a lot more intense flavours. And berries. Mmm, yum. I'm a sucker for berries and mango. So, just stirring to dissolve. Mixing, mixing, mixing. I think it, you can even get the kids to do. And then, uh, looks good enough. Okay, just check the bottom to see how. Yeah, it's good enough for me. One cup of cold water. I'm actually making this for um for dinner at a friend's place tonight. So hopefully they like it. And one can, I'm sorry, and um, one cup of this evaporated milk. Yeah, there's lots of different variations of this where you, you can make it with, uh, using gelatin instead of um, using jelly crystals, but yeah. It makes it easier for you, why not use it? And I'm not really a dessert person, so I like these quick, easy desserts. Okay, so we need one cup, which might be the whole can actually. Yep, it's just, just about the whole can. Just mix that in. So I'm going to pour it in the container and then I'm going to take the bottles out of it just so it looks nice. Hopefully this is big enough for it. And just skim the bubbles off so you have a nice smooth Pudding. Ah, that's my phone. And 
just going to have to ignore that for now. So just skimming all the bubbles off. Just if there's any more bubbles left, just skim them off. It'll be a very delicious, easy peasy mango pudding. What you can do to serve if there's some leftover evaporated milk is just um, mix it with some condensed milk to sweeten it. That's why I've got the condensed milk here. I love it, it comes in a tube, makes it so much. A lot less messier than the can. I find anyway. That's it. It's my mango pudding. So just mix the uh, evap evaporated milk with some condensed milk, and then when you're serving it, scoop it out. Pour some of the milk on top, and you've got yourself a yummy dessert. So hope you enjoyed that, and hope you enjoy the recipe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.